Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Ra Online Education. I'm Dr. Maheshwaran K. S. I'm a lecturer in the Department of Prosthodontics, Sri Ramachandra Faculty of Dental Sciences. Today we are going to be discussing about single complete denture. Okay. So the contents basically includes an introduction on what is single complete denture. Okay. And the indications where and all you can give a single complete denture. Followed by we go into the first situation. where it is a maxillary complete denture opposing a completely dentulous mandible so in this particular situation what is the sequence in which you need to do the treatment planning so you have introduction followed by intraoral examination then difficulties encountered in a single complete denture in this situation what is a mouth preparation you need to do to take care of those difficulties next the normal impressions and jaw relation procedures followed by teeth arrangement and occlusion which is very very important for a single complete denture in that we'll be discussing what balanced occlusion is and its significance i'll be briefly telling you about these followed by what is lever balance and what is its significance especially for a single complete denture then we go into the methods of achieving this balanced occlusion and also what are the various denture teeth material available then we'll be looking at another very important uh scenario which is maxillary complete denture opposing a mandibular partial denture very commonly described as combination syndrome we'll be seeing what happens when you have this particular situation and how to deal with it followed by mandibular single complete denture and finally i'll be giving you a classification basically that is classifying the patients who receive single complete denture okay and we go to the conclusion so what do you mean by a single complete denture it's as simple as it is a single complete denture is basically a complete denture that occludes against some or all of the natural teeth which means you can have a completely dentulous arch in the opposing arch so it can be either a single complete denture in maxilla opposing a completely dentulous mandible that is full complement of natural teeth in mandible or it can be the opposite you can have a mandibular lower denture which is again a single complete denture against natural teeth okay or it can even be a fixed restoration or previously constructed removable partial denture or even a previous complete denture so basically it is a combination where you have one arch having completely edentulous which means there is no teeth so you are going to fabricate a complete denture in that arch the opposite arch it can be either mandible or maxilla will either have a full complement of natural teeth or it can be a combination of natural teeth only in certain areas either an anterior area or a posterior region and other areas are partially edentulous which may or may not have been already replaced by either a fixed restoration or a removable partial denture the same can exist even for a mandibular single complete denture opposing either a completely dentulous maxilla or a partially dentulous maxilla where the edentulous areas have already been replaced by an rpd or that will become part of our treatment plan okay so where is a single complete denture normally indicated natural teeth sufficient in numbers that do not necessitate a fixed or removable partial denture meaning you have a full complement of natural teeth in the opposing arch there is no missing teeth and all the teeth are perfectly fine they do not require any fixed or removable partial denture in that arch okay the second situation is when you have a partially edentulous arch in the opposing side where the remaining teeth are going to be replaced by fixed partial denture so you have a either kennedy's class 1 2 3 or 4 situation in the opposite arch so one arch is completely edentulous okay it goes without saying the opposite arch either you have all the teeth present or you have partially edentulous situation where the remaining missing teeth have already been replaced by an fpd or you are planning to replace replace it with a fpd or an implant supported restoration okay third indication similarly you have a partially edentulous situation in the opposing arch where you are planning to replace the missing teeth using a removable partial denture or it has already been replaced patient comes to you with a removable partial denture in place itself or it can be an existing complete denture so normally this situation you will usually not end up having the reason being whenever we have a single complete denture alone already present in the patient's mouth it will always have been uh, fabricated according to the teeth in the opposing arch which is the natural dentition now when we are going to 
replace that opposite dentition with another single complete denture, it is always better to go ahead and replace both the dentures. Okay, go for a proper conventional complete denture where you're replacing the upper and lower arch with a new set of dentures so that you have total control over setting the natural teeth, perfectly setting it according to your aesthetics, your function, your stability, etc. Okay. Now let us see the first situation: maxillary complete denture. Okay, single complete denture only in the maxilla. In that, the first situation which you're going to basically see is maxillary complete denture opposing a completely mandibular natural dentition which means you have all the teeth in the mandibular arch you have all natural teeth okay important consideration in this first and foremost thing morphology of the natural teeth will determine the selection of artificial teeth now normally when you select artificial teeth for a complete denture patient you don't know how the natural teeth were right you have various other methods by which you select it but right now you have natural teeth in the opposing arch. You have a shape of the teeth. You have the size of the teeth. You have the shade of the teeth. You have all the information already present in the opposite arch. All you have to do is just choose the shade and choose the appropriate shade for the artificial teeth. Okay. And also the morphology is important. Whether you are going to go for a 0 degree acrylic teeth or you are going to go for a 33 degree teeth. That is an anatomic teeth. So, whether you are going for a 0 degree teeth or semi-anatomic or anatomic teeth will also depend upon how the morphology of the lower teeth is. If the mandibular teeth is fully attrited, meaning it is flat, which means it is 0 degrees, you need to go for a 0 degree teeth in the denture, okay, because the lower teeth is flat, only if your acrylic teeth is also flat, only then they will perfectly align, only then your stability, everything will be proper. If the patient's natural teeth is good, they are not attrited, they have proper cusps, they are fully anatomic, then go for a similar anatomic acrylic teeth. Do not go for a flat teeth. Okay, go for a properly anatomic acrylic teeth. Only then your function, your stability, aesthetics, everything will get satisfied. Okay, so choose the morphology of the teeth, the size of the teeth and the shade of the teeth, acrylic teeth, based on what is already existing in the patient's mouth. You already have a reference, which is the opposing mandibular natural dentition.